guys, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is April 15, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Spain News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video, and just looking at this title, it's not looking good. Once again, the Holy Land to retaliate within the next 24 to 48 hours hours now i just posted a video not too long ago the sleeping giant leader all right he called benjamin at the very last minute to cancel the strike all right so once again um there was going to be some big breaking news tonight until the sleeping giant called benjamin at the very last minute now they're saying that uh, they're still going to strike in, in the next 24 to 48 hours. So once again, guys, I'm just putting out the information. I'm not putting out any prediction. All right. So once again, just letting people know before you leave comments in the comments box, please watch the full video. All right. So following the meeting of the Holy Land War Cabinet this afternoon, they have decided to respond to Persia. Uh, despite the sleeping giant urging them not to. All right, check out my video I just posted today. Uh, actually, uh, yesterday, it was an hour ago. Um, yeah, I posted the video that the sleeping giant called Benjamin and told him, don't push the button. We have this one here. I want to talk about this one, guys. Now, scripture tells us that there will be signs and wonders, all right? And we need to be prepared, guys, because there's going to be some false, deceiving stuff going on that is going to uh, mislead many people, even possibly the elect. Now, unidentified object with, uh, give me a second here, guys. All right, with the humanoid uh, characteristic caught on camera, slowly descending in the skies in California. So let me just play this video. A lot of people are sharing this one here, guys. There will be signs and wonders. There's going to be a lot of things that people's going to look up in the sky and they're going to be deceived. They're going to think that, uh, you know, is our Lord and Savior appearing in the clouds with uh, great power and glory. All right, here's the thing, guys. Scriptures, again, Jesus already warned us not to be deceived. All right, so we have seen the VR, the headset, the virtual reality. We have seen the hologram. All right, um, we have seen so many of it. And uh, look at this. Let me just zoom it out really quick here. You see that? Hmm. All right, so I'm going to leave this link on my Twitter page if you guys want to check it out. Let's go with this next one here. Bam! All right, so the Sleeping Giant and Western officials anticipate that the Holy Land will quickly respond to Persia strikes as soon as Monday! Today is Monday. Actually, no, it's 11.52 p.m. You guys are going to get this video around 1.30 a.m. That's the time I post the video. So, and also, guys, Patreon is going to be tomorrow. All right, I truly apologize. I got home not too long ago. It was a long day at work, my second job, and it was huge, guys. It was, again, uh, I started, like, around 2, came home, like, 10, and so, yeah, and I did post videos today, so I was uh, I was uh, working a lot today. We have more breaking news updates. We're going to get to this one here. Once again, Hebrew Channel 14. The cabinet decided to strike Persia tonight. That didn't happen because the sleeping giant called Benjamin and said, Ben, what are you doing? Put the button down right now. <laughs> So we're going to get to this one here, guys. We're going to get to that one. Look out. So it says here, Persia responded 
and told the Holy Land, if you strike us, we will fire 1,000 ballistic missile towards the Holy Land. 1,000. Now, again, guys, the Sleeping Giants spend $1.3 billion just to take out 200 or 300. That's it. Imagine 1,000. That would be like $4 billion. Persia leader, excuse me, Persia Supreme National Security, this is not the leader, uh, has approved a tenfold increase in the magnitude of strike against Holy Land if Ben decides to escalate the situation further. Once again, they are talking about more than 1,000 will be fired towards the Holy Land. 1,000 ballistic. All right. Uh, this one here, guys, I was like, oh. here's the thing. The yellow and blue country is going to get money now. They will get the money. You have Speaker Mr. Johnson says he will push for money, aid to the Holy Land and the yellow and blue country this week being put together right now. So the yellow and blue country is going to get how much? I guess 60 or 65 billion dollars. That's a possible again that's what they've been asking for these last couple of months, but uh they never uh received it uh because the speaker has uh denied it and said we're not sending money to the yellow and blue. We're not going to send them no money. Now, all of a sudden, he's going to send money uh, because we at some kind of a biblical war crisis. Now, the Holy Land needs money. And now the yellow and blue needs money. I mean, the yellow I mean, again, forget about the yellow and blue. Look, here's the deal. That yellow and blue is not going to beat the bear. They're not going to beat the bear. They're not going to defeat the bear. Give them 60 billion and see what happens. There's going to be a lot more L I V E S taken out. And my T A X E S should not be going to the yellow and blue. The Holy Land is a different story. All right. But when it comes to the yellow and blue, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out what in the world are we doing in the yellow and blue country? I'm still trying to figure that out. We're going to get to this one too, guys. Once again, we have more information. The head of the Holy Land Parliamentary Foreign Affairs and Security Committee says that the Holy Land response to Persia will definitely hurt. It will definitely hurt. All right, so we're going to see what's going on in all this. Now, I want to bring something up really quick. Uh, I was reading the comments earlier today. Someone is like, Lewis, the sleeping giant base got hit. If you have the link to that story, leave in the comments box. Or you can email me, SantiagoLewis226 at gmail.com. I cannot find any information that Sleeping Giant Base got hit yesterday. All right. There were missiles and drones that flew over the Sleeping Giant Base in uh, Syria and Iraq. And you guys know those two countries. But they were heading towards the Holy Land. But there were no, again, look, the people I follow, Ross Alert, the people I follow, give me a second here. Let me just pull them up really quick. They're not putting out bases getting hit or you know, hit yesterday. They're not putting out those info. All right, let me just, uh, give me a second. Because I can't find nothing. I can't find anything. And people keep telling me, Lewis, uh, you know, the, the bases got hit. I'm trying to figure that out. See, this person here is 100% legit. 
he he puts out the good stuff that is accurate info. He hasn't posted anything about Sleeping Giant base getting hit and Sleeping Giant soldiers getting impacted. All right, he didn't post anything, nothing, and he posts very, uh, very good stuff. Uh, Walls alert, uh, and, and you know reliable sources. Now, don't go by again conspiracy stuff, please. Just make sure that um, when you do research, make sure it's accurate. All right, because I haven't seen or heard or no videos Sleeping Giant base getting hit. And uh, if you see those videos, double check or triple check those videos because there's a lot of fake uh, stuff going on. So someone used Texas Wildfire and said that this is the Sleeping Giant base that got hit. That was a Texas wildfire that happened last year. <laughs> Man, please be careful with the research and please be careful. Again, do your uh, research right. Number two. Um, someone said, be careful what you say about Benjamin and the Holy Land. Uh, I said it many times and I'm going to say it again. I stand with the Holy Land. I pray for the Holy Land. Those in the spotlight are said that Benjamin needs Christ. All right. He needs Christ. That's all I said. All right. And it's true. We all need Christ. We all need Christ. Now, I'm not bashing Ben. I'm not bashing. Again, I'm just saying, you know, again, the situation, I mean, the plans that he's doing and all this, it just, uh uh. I mean, you got to put your faith and trust in God and pray to God and Jesus and say, lead me. Lead me. Show me. It's like King David's son. King David's son, Solomon. He came out, well, he had a dream. God spoke to him. God asked him, what do you want? And he responded saying, teach me wisdom. Give me wisdom, show me wisdom. I am king of the Holy Land and I want to take care of my people. So father, please show me wisdom man that's how all leaders are supposed to um again act go to the father and the father will bless you sometime again certain you know those in the spotlight they don't go to the father they don't go to our lord and savior jesus they want to do things their own way and this is why so many things are just cuckoo for coco puff all right Let's see what's going on here, guys. Let's go with the. Hold on. I got this one, too. I got this one, too. So I was supposed to bring this up. All right. So uh, 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 rumor tonight. Let's see what's going on with this story here. Also, I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support, either through PayPal, Patreon, or the super thanks in the comments box. Thank you so much. Your support truly, truly helps out. Thank you so much, guys. All right, let's see what's going on here. And pray for the leaders worldwide. Pray. All right, so ready for another week of um, reports on a possible Holy Land retaliation. Waiting for the Holy Land retaliation. Is eminent or in hours or as early as tomorrow, tomorrow, today, Monday or within days or during the week? And of course, soon, question mark. Well, there's a very dangerous rumor going around. When the Holy Land War Cabinet convene, we have uh, certain people, immediate response to the Persia uh, strikes was to ask for a counter strike on Persia immediately. They did not even want to wait for the strike result. So they wanted to uh, push the button ASAP. But something happened. Something happened. The sleeping giant got involved. Sleeping giant leader called Benjamin. Benjamin picked up. Joe told Benjamin, put the button down. You ain't gonna fire. 
and that's it. They didn't fire. They didn't fire. Um, so right now, the Sleeping Giant is keeping their eyes on Benjamin. They're saying that Benjamin is out of control. That link will be in the comments box if you guys want to check out the video. All right, so they were concerned that the Sleeping Giant pressure would arrive and wanted to strike first. Everyone else in the cabinet, as well as the Holy Land military chief of staff and Ben were said to be against that. That was all before Mr. Byrne, the UK and France asked for restraint. Yet this afternoon, we are hearing publicly majority in the Holy Land war cabinet favor response to Persia, to Persia strike. But divided over timing and scale, the Holy Land officials say. So which one is it? Strike immediately or wait? Which one? Strike immediately or wait? Now, I did receive some comments. People didn't like what I said in my first video on this channel. Lewis, how dare you say not to strike? The Holy Land need to strike. They need to do it immediately. Let me ask you guys a question. Were there any fatality? Any catastrophic event? Something like 2001 here in the Sleeping Giant? Hmm. What Persia did was the... Again, their retaliation was weak. It was weak. Should the Holy Land go full force and release their wrath on Persia? Well, a lot of people want that. But what is the consequences? What are the consequences? If the Holy Land strike Persia, what's next? Oil prices will hit the roof. Loaf of bread and food would hit the, again, you know what? And <clears throat> there will be many L-I-V-E-S taken out because this, this here is going to lead to WW3. But again, you have uh, the speaker. He's getting a, a bill ready. We're going to send ching ching to the yellow and blue. We're going to send ching ching to the Holy Land. So put on the camouflage. We could see WW3 around the corner here, guys. So if people want Holy Land to strike back, don't start crying. Well, you cannot afford to put food on the table. There will be famines and pestilence in various places. See, I'm a type of person that uh, dialogue. Again, just like King David's son. People need to start reading uh, 1 Samuel, actually 2 Samuel, 2 Samuel. Because King David's son, when he was the king of Holy Land, he asked God for wisdom. God gave it to him. The next day, he wrote a letter. He gave that letter to the leader of Lebanon, you know, who, Lebanon. I'm going to say the name, Lebanon. Hopefully, I don't get hit. <laughs> so, so, instead of them going to, boom, again, they became great friends. That letter that was filled with wisdom knowledge brought together Holy Land and Lebanon, you know what. But nowadays, people just want... Holy Land to respond. Let's respond. Whatever happened to dialogue? Whatever happened to that? Again, like I say, guys, I'm a type of person that, uh, yeah, I'm, there's always communication. The Holy Land didn't get hit hard. It was not bad. Actually, there was no one that was taken out. Someone said there was a young one taken out. And if that's true, my condolences and prayers to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. But again, there was, it wasn't like a 2001 that happened in NY. 
All right, it wasn't like that. Now remember, all right, let's compare 2001 and compare it to this here, what happened yesterday when Persia fire drones and ballistic towards the Holy Land. 2001 will always be remembered. This story here, in the next two weeks, a month, people's going to forget about it. It's going to go just in the trash. Nobody's going to remember this. Why? Because it wasn't a catastrophic uh, strike. It was weak. Even the Sleeping Giant said this, this thing was weak. We took out this stuff. So should the Holy Land strike back for a weak response? Like I said, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. And if Holy Land does it, prep, get your stuff ready, uh, because things are going to hit the fan. All right, so it says here, yet this afternoon, we are hearing publicly majority in the Holy Land war cabinet favor response to Persia strike, but divided our timing and scale, the Holy Land officials say. So which one is it? Strike immediately or wait? As of 4.50 p.m. Eastern Time, and Lewis was working really hard at that time, my former colleagues in the intelligence community, for my years working with the FBI, <coughs> oh, excuse me, tell me there's some, some words and stuff in the corridors of power inside the Holy Land. Once again, there's some words, rumors going around tonight. And yes, he's right. There was going to be a strike tonight. But the sleeping giant called and told him, don't push the button. Not too many people know that story. But again, the video link will be in the comments box. Make sure you check out the video. All right. So you have this. Uh, what? This, I guess, is this lives uh, with other reporting that came out. Of the Holy Land earlier this afternoon. The Holy Land is in a very significant 24 hour period and appears to be carefully weighing its next steps in response to Persia strike. The Holy Land military spokesman said operational plans have been approved for both offensive and defensive actions. He declined to provide further detail. All right, so the scuttle the scuttlebutt about tonight could in fact be true and it is if the holy land goes ahead and does that persia has already said that the next response from them will be dozens of time larger 1000 missiles so tell me is it a, is it a good idea for the holy land to strike back even though the holy land didn't get hit is it good if the Holy Land strikes, Persia will fire 1,000. And guess what? It will never end. It's just going to keep going back and forth. Back and forth. L-I-V-E-S will be taken out. The Sleeping Giant will send more money to the Yellow and Blue and to the Holy Land. Possibly, your young ones might have to wear a camouflage and go to the Yellow and Blue country and... You guys know the rest. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Like I say, guys, when it comes to scriptures, I follow a lot when it comes to King David and King David's son, Solomon. I think I'm saying his name while I truly apologize. But uh, again, he wanted to take care of his people. He, he just wanted to, uh, you know, work things out with uh, its enemies and it worked out why because he put the father first and that's what's going on nowadays nobody want to do that but uh yeah this is why uh we are seeing great shaking going on all right so once again guys uh it says here from the sleeping giant news some Western officials said the Holy Land response to Persia is expected soon. 
Sleeping Giant won't be part of the event. Update 5.40 p.m. Eastern Time. The Hebrew Channel 14 TV in the Holy Land is now publicly reporting. The Biblical War Cabinet decided to strike Persia tonight, but something happened. Something happened. Give me a second here, guys. Something happened. According to Sleeping Giant sources, the Sleeping Giant leader and his team canceled the Holy Land strike on Persia literally at the last minute. But they're not sure that can happen again. So it was supposed to be tonight, but the Sleeping Giant leader, he got the message. He called Benjamin and told Benjamin, not tonight. Not tonight. This video here will be in the comments box if you guys want to check it out. Here's the video. Let me just pull it up really quick. Keep you guys updated. I was supposed to be in bed, sleeping, relaxing. I'm kidding, guys. I love doing this. I love being a watchman. All right, so this is the one right here. Last minute, all right? So this is the title. Sleeping Giant Cancel Strike at the very last minute. This link here will be in the comments box. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. You see that bell? You see this here? Make sure you hit that bell. I'm posting videos on this channel too, guys. All right, so I'm posting videos on that channel. I've been posting a lot of good videos. All right, let's go back to, let's go back to this one here. Turner remark who in their right mind reports something like this publicly who would dare to even leak something like this and where is the discretion of the NEWS outlet about whether or not to report it if this is actually true this TV report is endangering the again of many many troops all right, give me a second here, guys. Let's see what's going on with this one. Hold on. I'm, I don't think it's this one, though. We're going to skip this. We're going to skip this. All right, so again, I already gave you some of the ideas here. And plus, WSJ is charging me to read the article. I passed the uh, daily limit. Let's go with the speaker. Let's see how much money is going to be sent. How much to the yellow and blue? How much to the Holy Land? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the one right here. Speaker told Fox, Sunday morning futures that he and the right understand the necessity of standing with the holy land and he would try to uh this week to advance the aid the detail of the package are being put together right now he said we are looking at the option and all the supplemental issues how much is going to be sent Let's find out. Hopefully they have the answer here. Uh, more money. Meanwhile, the sleeping giants are still struggling. Ohio. Poor Ohio. Hawaii. Baltimore. Train developments. Planes. <sighs> All right, so once again, Mr. Johnson says Sunday he will try to advance wartime aid for the Holy Land this week as he attempts to as he attempts the difficult task of winning um, House approval for a national security package that also includes funding for the yellow and blue allies 
an Azo. Mr. Johnson is already, give me a second here, is already under immense pressure from his fellow of the right lawmakers as he tries to stretch between the right and divided support for helping the yellow and blue country capital defend itself from the bear capital invasion. Once again, the right speaker has sat for two months on a $95 billion supplemental package that would send support to the yellow and blue, excuse me, send support to the U.S. allies, as well as provide aid for many civilians in the yellow and blue and the GAZA strip and funding to replenish sleeping giant equipments provided to the island. Well, here's the thing, guys. If it happens, it happens. It was meant to happen. It is scriptures. It is Bible prophecy. If this bill is passed, it's just going to uh, flip the page to a new chapter of nation against nation. This time is going to be, it's going to be hot. The event by Persia on the Holy Land early Sunday further ratcheted up the pressure on Johnson, but also gave him an opportunity to underscore the urgency of approving the funding. Guess who wins? Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns, like, I'm getting the money. I'm getting the money. But here's the thing. At the very end, uh, God is the one, again, God is the one that wins. He's the one that allowed it. Uh, it is nation against nations. It's amazing that uh, it's all connected to scriptures because what actually changed Johnson um, mind to help the yellow and blue country was the Holy Land. The Holy Land is the one that opened the door, opened the door and basically opened the mind of Mr. Johnson to send the money. Once again, Johnson uh, is already under. Okay, we already know that. We're going to skip this. I totally apologize. I read this part. All right, so I'm not going to read all this. I'm just going to scroll down some of this stuff and see if there's anything here we should, like anything very important. I don't see how much he's going to be sending, but they're working on it right now. Is, uh, is vital for the future of the yellow and blue, for the Holy Land, and for the West, Chuck said. Once again, the sleeping giant said that uh, the leader discussed the urgent need for the House of, you know what, to pass the National Security Supplemental as soon as possible. Johnson has also made it clear to fellow rights uh, that he will, this week, push the package together, the aid for the Holy Land, the yellow and blue, <laughs> and allies in Asia, and pass it through the house. Buckle up. Buckle up. Get ready. Once again, Johnson had expressed support for the legislation that would structure some of the funding for the yellow and blue capital as loans. As loans? You think they're going to pay that back? <laughs> oh, man. You think they're going to pay us back? <laughs> yeah. Again, Sleeping Giant can't even pay their own debt. Once again, Johnson expressed support for legislation that would structure some of the funding for the yellow and blue as loans. We're going to give you $65 billion, but make sure you pay us back, okay? All right, so pave the way for the sleeping giant to tap frozen of the Bear Central Bank assist and include other policy changes. Now, Johnson has pushed for Mr. Burns' administration to lift a pause on approvals for liquefied natural gas exports and at times has also demanded policy changes at the sleeping giant southern region that should have came first well of course we got to help others they come first right but what about the sleeping giant what about the sudden what about the sleeping giant that's still behind bills when it comes to rent because of 2020 
This is why I'm glad for John 3.16. I thank the Lord for John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Here in this dark fallen world, those in the spotlights only care about and biblical war. Our Lord and Savior promised us a new world for only righteous dwell, dwells. There's no war. Our Lord will take care of us. See here, sleeping giant leaders can take care of us. They take care of their own self. They got ching ching. They got mansion. They have a, I mean, they got it all. That's the reward. They have received the reward here on earth. But those who are in Christ, those who do good things behind closed doors and private, helping many and feeding many and praying for many, the rewards will be given in heaven. The Father will reward them. So, again, uh, this is where we are right now, guys. So they're going to be helping those lands. Meanwhile, we are still stuck. But don't lose faith. We have a Savior, Jesus Christ. Repent and believe in him, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. It says here, but currently, the only package with wide bipartisan support in this uh, department passed bill that includes roughly $60 billion for the yellow and blue. $14 billion for the Holy Land. Stop, 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 stop. Why is the yellow and blue getting all that money? When the Holy Land needs it more. Why are we in the yellow and blue? We will never find out. But Lewis, the bear is just getting, you know, just getting involved and they invaded the yellow and blue and this and that. Invaded the yellow and blue? Really? How many lands the sleeping giant has invaded since WW2? Search it up. The sleeping giant has invaded 80-something land since WW2. People need to start doing their homework. All right, so it says here we didn't uh, need any reminders in terms of what's going on in the yellow and blue. This person said, very important person. But last night certainly underscores significantly that the warning that the Holy Land faces in a very, very tough neighborhood. All right, so I'm just going to skip the rest here, guys. I'm going to share it on my Twitter page. But, yep, about 60, 65 billion is going to the yellow and blue. 14 billion is going to the Holy Land. What else? You got more lands. So it's going to get uh, some, some of our T-A-X-E-S. All right, so this is where we are right now. Back in the 1915, I don't know what those sleeping giant citizens were thinking when they gave the power to the sleeping giant gov so they could control the, the money situation. See, they used to come to us. Those in the spotlight, they used to come to us and ask us, hey, can we borrow this amount of money? They used to come to us. But I don't know what in the world those sleeping giants were thinking giving the power to the GOV. We gave the GOV too much power. And look at, again, look at now. They put us in almost 40 billion, 40 trillion in DEBTS. All right, guys, give me a second here. I think, uh, I think this is going to be all the information here. I'm just double checking really quick, seeing if there's any more breaking news. I'm going to keep you updated on all these information here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so these are the reports that's coming out. All right, so 
You have a senior sleeping giant official give damage report on Persia Strike. And these reports are coming out right now. And it says here at least nine Persian missile penetrated the Holy Land air defenses and hit two air bases. Once again, this is not the sleeping giant base. And Persia said that they were going to hit their base. Now, again, those base were evacuated. Five missile hit the Nevadam air base and causing damage to a C-130 transport plane. Once again, the missile also hit a runway and storage facility. Four Persian ballistic hit the Najaf air base. So it seems like all this here is just Holy Land stuff. This is all their damage. All right. Give me a second here. If only they could share the link. I mean, they don't share links in this one. That, uh, that C-130 was funded by the Sleeping Giant. Should the Sleeping Giant retaliate? Give me a second. Let me pull up the 1C-30. Let me pull up the 1C-30. This is what Persia destroyed. Lockhead 1C-30 Hercules. 1C30 uh, Hercules is a Sleeping Giant 4 engine uh, turboprop uh, transport aircraft designed and built by Lockhead. All right, so yeah, look at that. It goes for like <laughs> uh, 12 million up to 30 million dollar. It was damaged. All right. Now, remember, guys. These are just materialistic stuff. Nobody was on it. There was nobody on it. But would the sleeping giant respond? That's the big question. Should the sleeping giant respond? Should we go to WW3 over a C-130 Hercules? Is it worth it? Now remember, back in, I think, 2020, or might have been 2019, Persia hit our drone and the four or five was not pleased and, and it was big breaking news you guys remember that for those that follow the war info now four or five was going to push the button but he decided at the last minute not to push it it wasn't worth it now that drone was a lot of money it was like this again like a plane all right it's a lot of money i think that drone is worth more than it's plane, if i'm not mistaken but, uh, yeah, the 4 or 5 is like, yeah, you know what? We're not going to push the button. We're not going to push it. Now, if we get information about Sleeping Giant base got hit and there were Sleeping Giant soldiers there, then it's a different story. Right now, again, a lot of people's telling me that Sleeping Giant base got hit. I'm still waiting for the info, guys. Hopefully, nothing happened to Sleeping Giant base. But again, just like this story right here, this is uh, this is coming out right now. This, I mean, all this information. Again, I'm just waiting for information like this. All right. So again, senior sleeping giant official give damage report. All right. So information about damage report is coming out. All right. So I'm just waiting for the updates. I'm waiting for the information. And again, uh, if there's anything about sleeping giant base i would keep it updated all right but some people are telling me that it got hit once again i'm not seeing any information excuse me i'm not seeing no information um nobody's talking about it again when it comes to rely uh, again reliable sources um give me a second here guys
Someone is like, so the Holy Land lied that 99% was intercepted. Once again, guys, um, we're going to get all the information. A lot of this info is coming out. Give me a second here. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's any, anything about sleeping giant base. See, the, uh, these are the information. All right, so this is like the closest one. Persia threatened to hit Sleeping Giant bases if Sleeping Giant backs Holy Land counter strike. All right, so the Sleeping Giants, they got involved, but I'm not seeing any info, reliable sources talking about Sleeping Giant base hit. Persia strike scene plant minimize, uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. Um, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to see if there's any information here. Um... I don't know, guys. I'm trying to see if I can find any information about a Sleeping Giant base hit. I'm not finding nothing here. When a Sleeping Giant's military base in Jordan was hit, your land, UK, decided to... Add. Again, this is an old story. That's something old. Again, some people's talking about Salami or the guy from 2019, 2018. That, uh, again, that was when Persia fired towards a Sleeping Giant base. That was a whole different ball game. See, it says here you have a uh, you have some of the flying object hit a base in Southern Holy Land, so that's a Holy Land base. Um, again, guys, I look if you have any link, uh, again reliable sources. If you have any information that Sleeping Giant base got hit, and if there's any information about Sleeping Giant soldiers impacted. Leave me, uh, again, uh, message me, uh, email me at Santiago, S-A-N-T-I-A-G-O, Lewis, L-U-I-S, uh, 226 at Gmail. All right, because I'm not seeing anything here, guys. I'm not seeing anything. Wars alert. Uh, excuse me. War news 24-7. They're not putting out any information about sleeping giant bases getting hit. And they like the number one. They pull out uh, the they put out all the information. Hal Turner, he's not even putting out information about Sleeping Giant Base getting hit.
But again, guys, um, I will keep you updated on all this story here. And it seems like this is going to be the end of it. Yeah, this is going to be the end of it. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to keep you updated on all this story. Uh, I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support, either through PayPal, Patreon, or the super thanks in the comments box. Thank you so much. Uh, again, your support truly helps out. Um, like I said, if you have any information, email me. My email should be in the description box. And I want to thank everybody so much for all the updates. I look, I get your emails. I get your message. And I truly apologize if I can't respond. Uh, I've been so busy. I received your, again, I received the letters. And I will call many of you. Again, again guys, I, you know, I have to take a day off in order to catch up with many of you. And uh, I've been deleting some comments. I have to delete comments. Uh, it's coming to a point that... Uh, it's sad, but uh, I have to uh, report a lot of comments. And uh, I'm trying my very best to keep the channel clean, guys. Uh, so you're going to see some bots. They're going to be, uh, you know, talking some nonsense. But, uh, again, I'm trying my best to remove them. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.